Lithium ion batteries are in everything from smartphones to laptops to electric cars. The biggest complaint about these batteries is that they just don't last long enough. And that's because with lithium ion, the more energy it harnesses, the heavier it is. Enter Argonne National Laboratory. Located 30 minutes outside of Chicago, Argonne's battery labs have more than $10 million in funding from the U.S. government. Researchers here work with other national labs, universities, and companies like Dow Chemical and 3M. The big picture is we're a, a bunch of scientists and engineers working on materials and systems to be able to more efficiently, cost-effectively, and safely store and release energy. Jeff Chamberlain heads up research and development for Argonne's Energy Storage Initiative. We started performing research in the mid-90s, thinking about capitalizing on the innovation that was intended for electronics and figuring out a way to, to make a lightweight, usable battery for transportation. Now, 20, 2010, 2011, 2012, vehicles are getting on the road that actually had that technology in it. Vehicles like the Chevy Volt, GM's plug-in hybrid, include technology originally developed here at Argonne. Now, researchers say they can get more power out of a lighter battery and bring down manufacturing costs by 50%. How? Through chemistry. We can really get down to the, the materials level, the atomic level understanding that's required to invent a material that then would become functional uh, in a battery system that ultimately would be applied in a transportation application. Breakthroughs at Argonne are shared with private industry partners. While most of the research is government funded, companies will also pay to commission specific types of research or to use the labs themselves. Industry is not going to go through the process of scaling the material just to find out that it's going to cost too much and, and not, uh, not be effective for their uh, process. And by us doing this, we're able to take these materials that have been discovered at the bench scale and help get them out to industry. Argonne scientists think they can develop a battery that generates 50% more energy in the next few years. Researchers say the more powerful batteries might not only charge your car or smartphone, they could also give the economy a jolt. If indeed electrification takes off of vehicles, the battery technology alone will be worth a gross domestic product in the range of 20 to 50 billion dollars. So the question is, how do we capitalize on that in this country and, and not only enable that gross domestic product or the profits to exist to be made in this country, but the number of jobs associated with the manufacturing capabilities required to build the technology. Jason Sanchez, CNN Money, Argonne, Illinois.